we do so much cool stuff here, but we don't necessarily tell the world about it. We're humble, cool change makers. And as much as I support that, I also think that we do enough stuff that we could share with the world that it's probably time to start doing that. So TEDx is one of the ways we get to take some of the cool things that are happening in this community and some of the big ideas that are coming out of our students and faculty and staff and alumni and community members and then share them on a big stage and share them with the world. We started in September. Uh, we were supposed to have our event in January, but we got our license and we scheduled a new date in April. And so we really started picking up right after winter break. I've been involved for like a year now, so it's been like a long time coming. But super rewarding to see it actually happen. It's really interesting because you know, I speak in public you know, pretty much daily, but this has been totally different. Um, it's, it's rare that I am getting up and really thinking out an idea and then trying to put it into a time block and to give this, you know, to really try to nail this one thing, knowing that that's the chance you have to nail it. So it's a huge opportunity. And so preparation has been really intensive and working with other people and practicing. But I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped up. I, I just feel grateful mostly. Grateful about the event, grateful for the whole notion that uh, there are a group of people just offering ideas and that there are a much bigger group of people listening to ideas and thinking about them and then taking whatever from those ideas rings true to them and, and carrying it forward. We all have incredible ideas to share, obviously, so yeah. it's, it's really just a wealth of knowledge and not, and, not, uh, and not cutting myself off from maybe picking up some gems. I mean, anytime you can sit down and really try to get knowledge from somebody who's, who's mastered their craft or is mastering their craft, um, you shouldn't pass that up. I wasn't really concerned about other people's degrees that they had, but just like the age difference is kind of huge. I and mean, just not knowing people is weird. But we started to pal around and then people started to open up about their ideas. And that's the whole point is we're sharing stuff. So people started to make connections and it just it felt natural the way you can connect with people. And we found resources that some people had access to that, oh, that's something we're interested in. Seems like more opportunities to be open about what your expertise is and how you can share it with others and learn with other people. Being able to do the TED event, it's all kind of our first, first chance at it. So we all all teamed up together and have been trying to work this out. I've never had really anything to do with like an on-stage production. Um, I like to work on stuff that I can put up and change a little bit at a time while no one's looking. Uh, so this was definitely a different experience. I've never really been in a situation where I'm managing a bunch of camera people, so it's kind of been stressful, but I'm very confident in all the people that I gathered to do video production and I know that the solid team uh, has got a lot of good volunteers. We got a lot of like really heavy hitters, just go get her, get them type of people. And it's really cool to be a part of that sort of energy and, and just environment that everybody really wants to make TED happen. And this is the largest TEDx event in Washington State, which yeah. we just learned about, which is like just really cool. So and we're sold out. I actually walked from North Cordata, so I, the buses don't run this early. So I left earlier than I thought I would need to just to make sure I got here in time to get a good seat. About two hours. <laughs> this is going to be awesome, guys. I know no one who is performing. I just know that it's going to be good. I'm here because I am a nerd. <laughs> and I'm addicted to TED. I'm really excited to see Bobby Davis because we played intramural soccer together and I had no idea he was actually a design student. So it's kind of funny to see like a different perspective of a student. Design is very important as far as progression into the future. And so to actually have an outlet where I can speak on it and try to inspire some people to pursue their field as though it's a design, I think it's, it's huge, it's paramount. Logan Brulette will be giving a talk about transgender and their involvement in NCAA sports. It's grounded in my personal experience on the women's rowing team at Western Washington University. Uh, I came out in the middle of my second year as a transgender man and it was very combative against a highly gendered sports environment geared towards women. My talk is focused on my experience, but it branches out to talk about how language can include people or completely ostracize and make you feel unwelcome. There's been so many trans suicides just in like the beginning of 2015 alone, and like it gets swept under the rug. Main news media doesn't report on it. So the problem is, how can we get this topic out there? How can we make people have it well known? And I saw the TED, TED Talks as like a great opportunity for this. Just listening to it really reminds me of my friends who came out as trans and just like the battle that they continually have to face. Also in addition to Logan's speech, I really love uh, Dana's speech, uh, politics, 
it's just like honestly like so real and like heartfelt and really talks about like the struggles like in society that women face. Everyone's enjoying the speakers it sounds like, they're participating, um, we have some whiteboards going on, people are writing down their ideas. We had a couple of breakout rooms for lunch, so we had the puppy room which was a huge hit. We're having puppies come from the Alternative Humane Society and also Brigadoon Dogs. So they're like therapy dogs and so people can just kind of hang out with them, like decompress. Oh, we had the Dead Parrot Society do an improv workshop, which was really good. Oh, oh. I'm really, really impressed with what the team did um, and what the speakers are doing and the fact that obviously it's resonating with the audience. How do you think the event is going so far? How does it sound like it's going? <laughs> um, this event definitely exceeded our expectations. By far. It was um, a really wonderful, smooth day. It says a lot about the team this year and about the amount of work that we put into it. Thankfully, all the videos are online. It will be soon. So I can just watch them and get some daily inspiration. <laughs> Thank goodness it's over. <laughs> yeah, that's it.